How's it going, everyone? This is Lewis with Alpha Omega Amusements. On today's episode of Tech Tips, we're going to switch gears a little bit and focus on the Embed and Guru system. Now, there are many different types of systems that can be used in an arcade. If you are one of those centers with a different system, please leave a comment below and let us know which one you have so that we can do a future video going over them as well. Now today for Embed and Guru, we are just going to go over a couple of things you can do with these systems. First, we will be taking a look at the Guru system, specifically with the Reader Units tab and the Game Details tab. After that, we will be switching over to the Embed system to take a look at the Pause Start Groups tab, followed by the Reader's Maintenance tab. Then we will look at the card maintenance tab, and lastly the combined cards tab. With that being said, let's dive right in. It's important to note, to gain access to all tabs, you will first need to enter either a password or swipe your staff card, but you should have been given one by now. Let's go to the attractions, games, and reader section. As you can see, there are a ton of things you can do here but we are just going to focus on the Reader Units tab and the Game Details tab. With Game Readers tab, you have the ability to turn the game readers on and offline. To do so, you will need to select the game. Then press the online button. When you do this, another page will pop up. This screen will show you that the history of the game's breakdown log. Now to finish putting a game offline, select the Add New Entry box and type what is in the reason for turning the game offline. Select OK and then press Add. If you want to let another tech know what's going on, you can select Read Log. Doing this will add an exclamation sign next to the offline game to notify them that there is something important that needs to be read in the log. A few other things that can be done on this page is add a card reader number to, this, to that specific game. This needs to be done so that a game server knows how to differentiate each game that is connected to the server. If you have two readers with the same number, it will cause the readers to have an error message or station disabled message to pop up. Next up is the Game Details tab. This is used for when you have a new game delivered to your location. It gives you the ability to add a game to a server network. When doing this, you can add or edit a current game or even delete it entirely. When either adding or editing a game, there are some things you will need to enter before saving changes, such as game description, game type, the charge group, game group, and game setting details. In game types, you will have multiple options to choose from. For the most part though, you will likely select standard game. After that, set your game's charge group. This is where you select the price you want your game at. Then go to game group. Here you designate what type of game it is, either a crane, merchandiser, air hockey, or etc. On the game detail side, you can enable or disable some extra settings, like whether the game pays out e-tickets, paper tickets, free games allowed, bonuses allowed, among other things. Alright, we have gone over a few sections in the Guru system. Now let's head over to the embed side of things. Again, to gain access, you will need to either type a password or swipe your staff card. Once you are logged in, this is what your main screen will look like. But to get to the tech menu page, you will want to select menu. Here you can do a lot of stuff as well. We will be focusing on the Paul Start Groups tab, Reader Maintenance tab, Card Maintenance tab, and the Combined Cards tab for now. To start, let's look at the Pause Start Groups tab. Simply put, this is where you can pause or start all games as well as your kiosks. Doing this prevents anyone from playing any game in your center or from purchasing game cards at your kiosk. To pause them, just select the button which will cause it to turn red, letting you know that the games and or kiosks are paused. To start them up again, just press the button which will then cause it to turn green. This lets you know that they are unpaused. Now let's take a look at the reader maintenance. You should be a little familiar with this page as it is the same as the reader units page we went over earlier. Again, here you can turn games off and online, set the card reader, and add a log to the read log section. 
you need to look up a specific guest's card, maybe because they lost theirs, or you need to check the history of that card, the card maintenance tab is where you will want to do this. But to do so, the guest will either need to have the card registered or physically have the card on them. Once you get the information though, you will be able to see all the card's details, the guest's details, and the trans transaction history of the card, as well as the option to reissue a new card. Finally, let's take a look at the Combine Cards tab. Here again is pretty simple. Just swipe the two cards that are being combined and press Combine. Doing this will, you guessed it, combine everything onto one card. Well that's it for today's episode of Tech Tips. As always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any future videos that are released. Also leave a comment letting us know what you would like to see next. Thanks for watching, I hope this was helpful. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode of Tech Tips.